The Magic Handmill, based on a Norwegian folktale, by Mark Olsen, art by Mark Kokoran. Long ago, on the coast of Norway, there lived two brothers. Olaf was as rich as Sven was poor. By winter's end, Sven had nothing to give his wife and children to eat. As a last resort, he traveled through the forest to Olaf's house to ask for help. Here, said Olaf, giving Sven a side of bacon, don't ask for anything else. Thank you, said Sven, but he couldn't help thinking, this will barely provide my family one meal. It was dark when Sven reached the woods. Searching for the trail, he arrived at a small clearing, where an old man was sawing logs by lantern light. I've lost the trail, Sven told the man. I must get this bacon home to my family. They have nothing to eat. The man used his lantern to show Sven the trail. The trolls are out, he warned. They'll want your bacon. Don't give it away. Instead, use it to bargain with them. Years ago, the trolls ran off with my hand mill. It has magic powers unknown to them. I don't care to try getting it back, but you can get it. When you do, I'll show you how it's used. Sven was puzzled by the advice, but thanked the man and continued on his way. He hadn't gone far when he heard, Give me your bacon. Sven remembered the woodcutter's words. Will, will you trade? He stammered. For what? A troll demanded. I could use a hand mill, said Sven. Do you have one? Yes, but a hand mill for bacon? That's not a fair trade. Do you use the mill? Asked Sven. No, but it's worth more than your bacon. It's the hand mill or nothing, said Sven. Sven could hear a few trolls whispering. Then one called. We haven't had bacon in so long. We'll trade. Sven was delighted. The exchange had gone so easily. He returned to the woodcutter with the hand mill. To start the magic, said the woodcutter, you merely say this chant. Grind me up some food to eat. Grind me up a tasty spread. Grind it good and grind it fast. Grind me herring, milk, and bread. To stop the grinding, give the handle two taps. Don't you want to keep it? Sven asked. I have no need for it. Good luck, young man. Sven thanked the man, then hurried home and put the mill to work. Soon his family had plenty to eat. Sven decided to share his good fortune by giving a feast. People from all over, including Olaf, came to the dinner. Olaf was furious when he saw all the food. Only two days ago, my brother begged me for scraps to feed his family, Olaf grumbled. Certainly, I'm entitled to share his sudden fortune. When Sven went to refill the empty platters, Olaf followed him. He heard Sven chant, Grind me up some food to eat, grind me up a tasty spread, grind it good and grind it fast, grind me herring, milk, and bread. Olaf was amazed to see the outpouring of food. I'll take that, he cried, grabbing the hand mill. Unnoticed by Olaf, Sven tapped the mill's handle twice. Then he replied, You can take it in exchange for a bag of gold. Agreed, said Olaf. I'll bring the gold later. As he hurried home, he thought, My brother will never see any gold from me. The next day, Olaf announced his own feast. Before guests arrived, he took out the hand mill and repeated the chant. Food began pouring out. This feast will cost me nothing, and I'll eat like a king, said Olaf joyfully. Soon, herring, milk, and bread were spilling on the floor at an alarming rate. Olaf realized he didn't know how to stop the mill from grinding. Olaf shoved bread into cupboards, poured milk down the cellar, and stuffed herring into his pockets. Soon food continued to fill the room. Still food continued to fill the room. At last Olaf grabbed the mill and ran outside, followed by a growing river of food. When he reached Sven's hut, he cried, Help me before we're buried in food. I'd help, but we made a deal, said Sven. A deal? Then Olaf remembered. He found a pouch of gold in his shirt and handed it to Sven along with the hand mill. Sven tapped the handle of the hand mill twice, and the grinding immediately stopped. Exhausted, Olaf headed home, but his farm was buried under tons of food. There was nothing to do but start eating. Before long, Olaf had lost his appetite for herring, milk, and bread. His brother Sven, on the other hand, used the gold to build a cozy home on his little farm. There you can find him and his family happily eating meals of herring, milk, and bread.